Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Pixar Live. Today, we're gonna show you three different ways to create awesome fan art. This is for all your favorite celebrities out there. So, let's begin. First type of fan art we are going to create is K pop. So, first things first, you're gonna go to SquareFit. You're gonna use the eraser tool to and then click on portrait to get the background to be erased and the portrait to be there. Then you're gonna change the color. I'm going with this lovely pink color. Then put your portrait in the middle and go to your eraser again and use your eraser to create a circle or like an oval on the bottom of the girl. Erase the rest of her body and just keep the top half. Then zoom in and start perfecting it. So go in, add in some brush strokes, do some eraser strokes until you get the perfect cut. Then you are going to place her in the middle. All right. Once you do that, we're going to go to stickers and search for some K pop stickers. So just add whatever stickers you like to your photo, place them on the bottom, on the sides, behind her, however you like the composition to be. So I found this really cool um, lyrics from top to bottom, which looks so cool for this fan art. And so I'm gonna place it and then use the portrait eraser so it can go behind her. I like this moon and I'm going to do the same steps. So place it, then use the eraser and portrait detection so it can go to the back. Then I'm going to blend it in so it's like really cool and smooth. Then back to our K-pop stickers, I'm going to get this layer um, swoosh, I guess, and add that to the bottom. And it looks like we erased part of the photo and we could see the lower layer. And then I am going to add some K-pop dots.
and some cute little flowers that I had saved to my stickers. Great! Then I am going to our filters and we have K-pop filters actually. So this is perfect for this photo and I'm going to choose one of our K-pop filters. So let's see, one, KPP2 and number three. I think I like two the most but I'm going to fade it down a bit. Yes, and this looks really, really pretty. I will just add some noise to this to make it a little bit cooler and done guys so easy and so cute also comment below who's your favorite k-pop star okay second uh, fan art is going to be a similar style to the K-pop but a bit different. So imagine this is your favorite star, take your star to a square fit mode and then again with the eraser and portrait detection we are going to erase. So as you can see there's a lot of parts that didn't get erased so I'm just gonna take my eraser tool and go in and get it all detailed. Perfect. Then I'm going to change the color and add her to the middle. I used a dark color because I think I'm going to go with a neon sticker on top and darker colors work best. So going through stickers, I'm going to choose a spiral, a neon spiral actually. So let's see what we got here. like this one so just place it scale it add it to the middle on top of her and then with your eraser we are going to go and erase some of the spirals so it looks like as if it's twisted on her
great then I am going to go back to stickers and search for a heart Once I find my perfect heart, you're going to add it to the edges of the neon spiral. Just keep on duplicating them until you're desired with your edge. Then what I'm gonna do is go to draw. So, draw, I will get a brush. I'm going to create outlines to her face. So, this is going to give it a cartoony feel, which is so cool. It's as if you drew her and it's not an image. It's like a fan art drawing edit. So, just keep on doing the outlines. Then, for the eyebrows, I'm going to put the opacity down and then do little flicks of eyebrows on her original eyebrows. So again, it looks like a drawing. Alright, then what I'm going to do is I am going to change the size again up and then this time I'm going to change the color to white. Then I'm going to go in and give her some white highlights. And then save the drawing you just made and you can post this. Yay! Fan art number two, done. So the third fan art is going to be anatomy. Anatomy is really huge and that's what we'll do. First things, you're gonna crop this image. I'm just gonna scale it, rotate, and then I will zoom in a bit so that her anatomy is very accurate. Then I'm gonna go to tools and use the selection tool. So I'm gonna choose the square one and then just trace the part that I wanna duplicate. So starting off with her eyes, I'm just gonna copy this and then add it to the side. Same thing, I'm gonna do her lips. So just trace it. And then copy and put it to the side. Try to get the size to be as same as the one on top. Then we're gonna go to stickers and try to get a rectangle, maybe like a doodle type of rectangle, a white one preferably. Then 
I'm going to go back to stickers and I want to add some cute blushy freckles to her. Look how cute that looks. Oh. Then I'm going to give her a palette. So she has this cute palette coordination and we're going to give her the pastel -y nude color palette. And then last but not least, we're going to add some filter on her. Yay! So pretty, so cute. You could do this anatomy edit with any of your favorite celebrities and it's going to look as cute as this one. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you tune in for next week's live. Subscribe to our channel and leave comments below. Bye!